Hello, and welcome to the Sutton Brain Hub video on the pharyngeal muscles and their innovation. Here we can see the base of the skull, from which the styloid process protrudes inferiorly. Now, we can divide the muscular layer of the pharynx into two, the circular outer layer and the longitudinal inner layer. This video will address the outer three muscles. They are called the superior, middle and inferior pharyngeal constrictors. Nice and easy so far. When they contract, they push food downwards, which is an involuntary movement. In the midline, they join to form the pharyngeal raphe, which is a fancy way of saying the fibres of the muscles fuse, forming a visible ridge. The raphe attaches superiorly to the pharyngeal tubercle of the occipital bone. The inferior constrictor fibres are continuous with the oesophagus. Connecting the muscles to the mucosa is an aponeurosis called the pharyngeal fascia. The stylopharyngeus muscle originates on the styloid and inserts on the thyroid cartilage. It has a different function to the other pharyngeal muscles, elevating the pharynx in swallowing. Let's go through the innovation of the pharyngeal muscles. The vagus nerve provides innovation to the constrictors through branches which form the pharyngeal plexus. The plexus also innervates most of the palate, but not the larynx, which has its own distinct innervation from the superior and recurrent laryngeal nerves, also branches of the vagus. If we think about it, it's logical that stylopharyngeus, which is the odd one out here, would have a different nerve supply. So it is easy to remember, it is innervated by the glossopharyngeal nerve. Here we can see the superior laryngeal branch of vagus, which will descend, branching into the external and internal laryngeal nerves. Subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.